Hey, hi, I'm George. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three, one, two, three questions you should ask yourself when it comes to do what? Catching some big moves in trading. Yes, you must have been seeing PNLs of people who drop their trading results, people who do 100x, 100%, 200%, 50%, 500% in trades. And you must be asking yourself questions like, how did these guys do it? Do they have any hidden hats or anything under their sleeves that is making them to get this result? I'm going to be sharing with you some of these questions that you should ask yourself before you get on a trade in order to help or guide you to catch big moves. Number one, which is very necessary, which is very important, um, you will ask the questions like, am I feeling FOMO, which means FOMO, the fear of missing out. You know, most times, many traders, when they're getting to a trade, they are always having this fear of missing out. Irrespective of checking their rules, irrespective of checking their trading checklist, their trading frameworks, their trading um, points, they just jump in because of the fact that, oh, wow, I just heard it news. Maybe the FOMC news just got released and they are trying as much as possible not to lose or uh, just to get lost in the wave. You just jump in. Let me tell you this. If you jump into a trade because of the fear of missing out, 80% of the times, people who do always end up losing their trade, always end up getting liquidated. Because most times when you are having such a fear of missing out and you jump into a trade, that is when you'll be a victim of people that do what is called liquidity grab. Now, the liquidity grabbers, their aim is to just go for people who will do all they can to lure you into trading and what make you to hit your stop loss for them to milk money from you. So by all means, ask yourself, am I jumping into this trade because of the fear of missing out? If yes, hold on. If no, you can go ahead. Now, the second question you must ask yourself, okay, to help you catch big waves is what? Does this trade I'm about to enter hit my checklist? Now, if you don't have a checklist, if you don't have a trading checklist, if you don't have a trading rules, I, uh, I'm just going to tell you this. By all means, try as much as possible to have that. I'm going to leave a video around here, okay, where I talked about my trading journal, my trading rules. I will share with you how to get yourself one and also share with you mine, which you could use as a template. Or you could even click the link in the description box below where that will take you to our community and you're going to see mine. You can download it for free, have access to it, and use it as a guide in what you're doing. Note this, you must not necessarily follow my own trading rules. What or the reason why I'm sharing it with you is for you to use it as a guide, a template to help you do yours. So you must ask yourself a question, does this trade I'm about to enter meet my trading checklist? Does it meet my trading rules? Now, when it does, you can be able to enter. Like myself, one of my trading rules is this. I was make sure that the trade crosses, if I'm going long, I must make sure that the trade crosses what my resistance. If I'm going short, I must make sure the trade goes below my support and all those kind of things. And I always make sure that everything checks in before I jump on a trade. And the third thing again you must look out for or the questions you must ask yourself towards catch big waves is what? How much? There's a question about what? How much? How much am I willing to risk? Many people jump in on a trade without even thinking about that. They just jump in a trade with the belief or the perception or the hope towards the gain hundred dollars. But you know, one thing about trading is this: for any amount of profit you want to make, you must be willing to risk an amount. Which means I'm gonna say, all right, I'm willing to risk fifty dollars in order to win a potential trade of what a hundred dollars, or I'm willing to risk two hundred dollars to win a potential trade of a thousand dollars. So you must try to understand. You must try to understand. You must try to ask yourself. How much am I willing to risk? Because trading is all about risk. You know, they say the higher the risk, the higher the reward. The higher the amount of money you are willing to risk, the higher your loss and the higher your worth reward. Which means if you risk a hundred dollars, you could risk hitting stop loss and losing sixty dollars, or you could be in profit and you could make what three hundred dollars. So you understand that what you are always risking an amount to get a potential reward. But the question now is what understanding how much you are willing to risk. When you ask these questions 
and you're able to get the answers within yourself, it helps you to catch what? Big waves. And I also did a video where I talked about training stop loss and break even. You can um, check around. I'm going to put out a video where you will see me step by step set my trading stop loss. You also see me set my break even. And it also gives you a guide on how you can also use that to not just catch the big waves, but also what flow with the big waves. All right. If you got value from this, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. You can leave a comment in this, um, below. And if you would want to join our mentorship community for anything whatsoever, you can use the description box. There's a link there. Join the community and we do well to watch. Take you by the hands. See you inside.